Okay, today we are going to Recoleta Cemetery to see the grave of Eva Duarte Perón. We found, we saw with our own eyes and with the camera, so with your eyes as well, uh, the tomb of Eva Duarte Perón. And hopefully we'll be able to find uh, the former tomb of Juan Perón when we get there. Okay, so we're off in Metro Wafasupte uh, in the neighborhood of Chacarita. We got off at the stop uh, Fed Federico La Croze. La Croze? Anyway, this neighborhood is, uh, uh, you can probably see like from the stores behind me, this neighborhood is a lot grimier than the uh, neighborhood we were just in, which makes me feel right at home. Uh, so I already like it, walking around, a lot of people on the streets, neighborhoods buzzing, um, but I'm actually uh, kind of hungry. I want to get uh, like, a, I don't know, like Dos Media Lunas, Cafe con Leche. So we'll try and find a little cafe around here before we go. The, um, the cemetery is right across the street from the metro. So I saw it, I saw where it is, I know where it is, and we're gonna head there, but first, First, we gotta get something to eat. And I also wanna just sort of like sit down and uh, look on my phone real quick, see if I can get a little more information and try and track down exactly where in the cemetery uh, the tomb of the family Baron is. Because, uh, like I said, the cemetery is absolutely huge. It's probably like 10 times as big as the uh, Recoleta Cemetery. It's basically like its own neighborhood. And if we don't know exactly where this place is, we could be walking around in there for literally hours and never find it. So uh, that's what we're going to do. And uh, we'll see you all in just a couple minutes. OK, so we're about to head in. Uh, I did a little research and found out nothing. Um, the only thing I can find is that it looks like the tomb seems to be listed under Tomas Perón which was Juan Perón's grandfather. Like I said, it's a family tomb. So I guess we just go in here and we look and see if we can find the tomb of Tomas Perón. This place is open uh, for a few more hours and it uh, looks like there's people here. So I don't know, maybe we can ask someone and they don't know where it is. But like I said, this place is gigantic. So we might be wandering around for a bit and my feet are already starting to get kind of tired. Uh, but. Well, we are not to be deterred. We're gonna find. We're gonna find this spot. So there is a map here, and it shows all the sections, but it doesn't say who is in which section. Uh, so I'm not sure exactly where we go. Hola, buen día. Eh, lo siento primero, mi español no es muy bueno, eh, pero eh, busco la tumba de la familia Perón. No, no, acá. La, no, no, la familia, no. Oh, ok. ¿Y eh, por qué eh, Juan Perón se eh, eh, ha, ha mudado? Sí. Eh, sí, antes en. en Oh, pero pero la, la tumba de la familia no está aquí. La, la bóveda de la familia está pero por aquí en lado, no sabría decirte bien por dónde está. No, ok. No. Uh, voy, a, <ríe> voy a ver. Eh, está. Ellos acá, digamos que el nombre está Tomás Perón. Sí, sí, Tom, Tomás Perón. Sí. sí. Eh, yo 
cruzas el primer edificio sí. que es la administración, el segundo edificio lo cruzas sí. ¿sí? y de ahí te metes para el lado de las bóvedas, hay una callecita, te metes para el lado de las bóvedas y el primer pasillito hacia tu izquierda, no sé más. Okay. Ok, uh, así así. ¿Puedes, puedes uh, mostrarme? No, no, acá no, no acá no, no está. ¿Vas? Sí. ¿Sí? Cruzas por ahí, hacia su, tu derecha. ¿Derecha? Sí. sí. Claro. Primer edificio, segundo edificio. Sí. ¿Sí? Del segundo edificio vas a ver que hay unas escaleras. Sí. ¿Sí? No, 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 no. De ese edificio te vas como para aquel lado, para el lado de las bóvedas, haces un pasillo. Okay. Un pasillo y de ahí hacia tu derecha, hacia tu izquierda. Okay. Hasta no. ahí te puedo, te puedo ayudar. Sé no, que está no, por entendí, ahí. no entendí todo, pero uh, voy a probar. Voy a intentar. El segundo edificio, vos cuando vayas por acá, el segundo edificio, ¿Sí? ¿sí? vos vas a ver que está de este lado y está la entrada. Bueno, digamos, en esa dirección, pero para qué lado. Ok. Vas y haces un pasillo nada más, ¿eh? un solo pasillo sí. hacia tu derecha. No cuadras, ¿eh? pasillos. Pasillos son entre medio de las bóvedas. Sí, ok. Uno solo. No me acuerdo si está para este lado o para aquel lado, pero está en esa dirección. Ok, ok. Gracias. No, Muchas no. gracias. Did you understand any of that? Because I understood about. 10% of that. Okay, I think she said go in here and go to the right. That I understood. She said there's the first building and we go past the first building and then the second building Something, something, something. I lost her after that. I completely lost her. But uh, she did say Tomás Perón. And that uh, gives me hope. Because I mean, when I asked her, I asked her uh, you know, about the tomb of the family Perón. Is it here? She immediately said no. And I said, oh. You know, like, uh, then I asked her, you know, I, I know that Juan Perón was moved from here and she said yes yes but then she mentioned Tomas Perón she said oh yeah there is a, a Tomas Perón and that I know from the research that we've done is Juan Perón's grandfather and that's like the name uh, under which the whole family is is buried I guess is Tomas Perón every time I look up anything on records for like where famous people are buried. Tomas Perón keeps coming up and all the other Perons are like listed um, underneath Tomas Perón. So I think we're on the right track. Uh, I do feel a little bit weird about vlogging in here, but it is very, very empty. This place is really big, and there's uh, there's really not a lot of people in here. We're gonna keep going. I do know that it looks like I do know uh, I've seen a picture of of the tomb. And there's like a big statue out in front of it. So it's a pretty big tomb. I know what it looks like. It has a statue in front. I think it's like a bronze statue. But I don't know. I lost her after she said the first building. She said then we'll go to the second building. I think she said you can either go to the left or to the right. I don't know, I'm not sure. I think we gotta keep just looking around and hope, hope we end up finding it. We'll see. that you don't want to
keep looking at my face. Flip the camera around. This place really is big. I mean, really big. I guess that's the thing about this place. Recoleta Cemetery is exclusive. You gotta be somebody to get buried there. But here, anybody can be buried here. There's no restrictions. Oh, here's a building. This is actually a building. She said the second building. And this looks like it's the second building that we've come across. So maybe it's around here somewhere. Uh, anyway, I was saying anybody can be buried here. The reason the cemetery actually exists, or at least the reason why it's so big, is because back in uh, 1871, there was a huge yellow fever outbreak in, uh, uh, in Buenos Aires. Something like 8% of the population of the city died in the, in the uh, yellow fever outbreak. Oh, there's actually a funeral going on here. I, I don't want to be like vlogging over by that. Anyway, about 8% 8, 8 of the population died in the yellow fever outbreak and the rest of the cemeteries. They couldn't handle uh, the amount of bodies that they were getting. Apparently it started in San Telmo, which was the neighborhood that we were in. And, uh, and um, and it spread from there until the point where like you know hundreds of people were dying every day. And uh, Recoleta Cemetery, they wouldn't allow any of the uh, people who died from yellow fever to be buried there. So they started burying them here, I guess. Uh, but there are a lot of very very famous Argentines buried in this cemetery, and this is a place where you can sort of like you know like I said anybody can be buried. So could be buried right next to a, someone who's super famous. And I think some people who are famous, you know, they chose to be buried here uh, instead of Recoleta, or someone chose for them to be buried here instead of Recoleta. Perhaps that's why Juan Perón was originally buried here and his family was buried here. I don't know. Looks like the funeral procession has passed, so I'm going to keep walking a little bit. And, uh, she said that after we see the second building, there's like a parisha, which I'm not sure exactly what that means. I'm hoping it means like this big park area. It's right over here. Let's see. And I think she was saying kind of like you can go around it on either side. And maybe she meant that like if we go around it on the other side, we can find Tomas Paron. And if we find Tomas Perón, then that means we have found the former resting place of Juan Perón. So, uh, I guess we just walk around this, this part here. Now, this thing is really big. This, whatever this, like, park area is in the middle. I mean, <laughs> like I said, this is like a cemetery that's like the size of a neighborhood. So... So I guess we go around, let's just walk around this thing and see, see if we see it. Um, I'm hoping that I will recognize the tomb because like I said, I have seen pictures of it. So I'm hoping that if I see it, I'll recognize it. Uh, the question is, which way do we go here? We should go that way. Or should we go that way? Funeral procession is going that way. And I don't want to get caught up in that. Because I think it's really disrespectful like really disrespectful to be vlogging in the middle of someone's actual funeral processions. One thing to go and see uh, you know, see people's tombs who are historical figures. It's another thing entirely to be vlogging in the middle of someone's funeral. 100% not going to do that. If you look down here, it looks like there are uh, sort of smaller tombs underneath in here. Maybe this is like where uh, where you get buried if you don't have your own, you know, real big tomb. Anyway, uh, we'll walk around here and see what we can see. Okay, so I think we have a lead 
uh, I walked where I thought that that lady was telling me to go, and it, it turns out that I was completely wrong. So uh, I walked kind of like halfway across the cemetery, and we're at the center part. This part is all like actual in ground graves. There's no there's no tombs around here. Uh, so just on a whim, I got my phone out and I looked up uh, Chacarita Cemetery map. And uh, in addition to the you know copies of the normal map, which they have just like up on signs around here, I found a picture on a website of like uh, a satellite image, and it had a whole list of famous people and where they're buried. And one of them on there was Tomas Perón. So uh, I have an idea of where in the cemetery he is, and we're gonna head over there. And maybe we're we might actually find this thing. For a moment there, I was thinking. We're not gonna find it, but I think we might actually find it. Okay, so we're getting close. We are here, and right behind me, I think that building there is this building. Between those two buildings, you can see out in the distance. Oh, if you look out there, I think that's the main entrance. Okay, which would be like right here. And we're trying to go here. Section 9, I think it's in this like bottom square in the center. Which means, I think if we walk in between those two buildings, we go down two sections, and then we make a left. We should get there. So I think it's like right on the other side of that building, the, the red brick building on the left. Let's go over there. I think we're coming up on it. I think we just, if we make a left here, then the next section is there. It's, it's in there somewhere, so we'll take a look. If it actually is in here, then it means we <laughs> we walked right past it on our way in. When we, when we were coming in and I was saying that I knew what it looked like and that there was a statue in front of it, we were walking right past that tomb right there uh, with the statue in front of it. That's not the one though. That's not the one we're looking for. Yeah, we walked, we walked right up this street, this street with these, uh, with the trees. And if that map that we found on a random site on the internet is correct, then it means it's in this section back here somewhere. It turns out that that source was correct. I will definitely put a link to it down in the description of the video and give them credit.
Don't see anything yet. I feel like we might be getting close though. Okay, so uh, I found a friend uh, from Austria, actually. This is uh, Wolfgang. You can say hello to the camera. And he was also looking for, uh, for a grave here uh, in the cemetery. And he decided to come along and see if we can find the, uh, the tomb of Tomas Perón, where Juan Perón used to be buried. And I think we're very close. We're looking for the section that's between Cache 34 and Cache 38, which I think actually might be right here. We might actually be right at the section. Uh, looking to see if there are any signs that show what street we're, we're going past. Uh, but I don't, oh, I don't really see any. You know, once you get into the, into the center part of this, it's, you just get lost because it all looks the same. This is a nice to explain because I told you I'm an other generation sure, than sure, you, sure. yeah? Uh, how that works, yeah? This? Uh, yeah. Well, so uh, it has a... It's a camera, right? Yeah, 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 it's a camera. It has a little screen on yeah. it right here. And you can flip the camera around so that it faces you like this. Wonderful. And then you can flip it back so that it faces outward. And the camera has a gimbal, so it's stabilized. So if I okay. move it around, it's still... For the oh, most part, oh. still po points How forward. How much cost such a, a piece? Uh, this was uh, 500 USD. So okay. it's a little expensive, but it's not it's not bad. It shoots very high quality video. Yeah. And this company, DJI, uh -huh. they actually make uh, drones, ah, camera okay. drones. And the cameras they have on them have a gimbal like this. So they just took the camera out of the drone, put a battery pack I on it. I learned so much on this yeah. uh, on my trip here. <laughs> yeah. Because it's, uh, before, uh, it's five, six years uh, mm -hmm. because of the corona and uh, right. for everything. Yeah. Um, and um, I always said, I don't need all these new techniques. I don't need <laughs> them. And yeah, you get lost without them. Uh, it's, yeah. um, it, it's and this is fantastic. Yeah, I, I wanted to when I decided. And you I have your channel or what? You it's very new. It's a very yeah. new channel. If, yeah. if this and <laughs> you make your report about your travel, so yeah. what? Yeah, I, I came. I arrived right before the uh, the presidential election. Yeah. Right, and so I did a, a video about that. And did uh, a video about the exchange rate. You know, the blue yeah. dollar exchange rate, which is very. <laughs> uh, interesting because of the inflation. I, I think it's over this. Section. I hope you don't change on the bank. Uh, yeah, no, I think, uh, I think, uh, I don't know. I, the things that I'm putting on on my channel, I, I think, are interesting, mm -hmm. and hopefully other people will. And if they do, they how many followers you already have? Not many. <laughs> Not huh? many. I started the channel. I mean, I'm the first video I uploaded was yeah. like about uh, a week ago, so mm -hmm. I only have two videos up there, but. Okay. Everybody has to start somewhere, right? Yeah. <laughs> so. All right, let's see. Uh. Okay, I, sorry, I don't try to... Um, ah, maybe they know. Mm -hmm. no? mm -hmm. But you don't think you're fine. Well, I, possibly, mm -hmm. but my Spanish is not great. 
Buenos días. Hola. Estamos un poco uh, perdidos. <ríe> sí. uh, ¿Usted sabe dónde es uh, el sepulcro de uh, uh, Perón? Tomás, Tomás Perón. Perón. ¿Dónde estaba Perón? Sí, sí. sí. Tomás Perón. Sí, sí. El padre de Perón. Sí, uh, sí el, el padre o el abuelo. Eh, el padre, el padre. ¿Padre? Sí. <ríe> Este pasillo, ¿Sí? antes de llegar a la otra calle, es una bóveda así como esta oscura y está todo marcado, todas las cosas que le sacaron, ¿ves como acá? Sí. Así. Oh, está okay. todo marcado. Me entiendo, me entiendo. Este mismo color así, antes de llegar a la calle, sobre mano derecha. Ok, uno más y derecha, ¿sí? No, 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 ahí, ahí mismo. Oh, no. O sea, por este mismo pasillo, ¿Sí? sin llegar a la otra calle, pasando esta. Sin llegar a la otra calle, la calle, no los pasillos. ¿eh? Sí. La calle. Ok. ¿Eh? Entiendo. Es una bóveda así de este color y que está marcada así que le faltan todas las placas. Ah, entiendo, entiendo. Por favor, muchas gracias. No, por favor. Gracias. Uh, uh, I think he said to be honest, we crossed this. Not all, he said two calles, not uh, two streets, right. and not uh, these passages. Small passages. Okay, okay. And then it should look like similar to that one. Yeah, that's the thing. Is I've seen a picture of what it looks like, but I think they, when they moved his his body, I think they may have removed some of the. Uh, like the name plates, so it may look different now. You go to Mr. Maradona too? Maradona? Oh, Maradona? Symmetry. Yeah, no, uh, maybe, maybe at some point in the future, but this one is just, we're just trying to find these two, and then, uh, you know, like I said, tomorrow, to yeah. go out to the countryside and try and find the actual So, what is it? Place. Is it here now or the next one? No. Maybe a second one. Maybe. I was, I was right around. It was just one street we passed now, no? Yeah, there was one there. Yeah? Okay, but he said second one. I was, I was right around here before. Yeah, just let's try it, no? Yeah, yeah, let's, I mean, why not, right? So, so here it should be, but it's not here. Yeah, I, I guess. I will ask you. Oh, thank you. Tomás Perón, de Juan Domingo Perón, es eh, así. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Creo que es, es entre de calle 34 y calle 38, pero uh, no sé cuál calle es. No tengo la referencia. Tomás, Tomás, pero ah, no, no, Juan, pero, pero ah. Juan eh, está en, en San Vicente. No. Sí. Eh. Eh, está bien, está bien. Eh, bus buscamos eh, más, por favor. A ver. No, bueno. Podemos buscar más. Sí, o por ahí, no sé quién preguntar. Sí, sí, eso es, eso es uh, la, la tumba. Esta es la tumba, ¿dónde queda? Sí, sí, uh, pero no, no sé uh, dónde. Es, es muy cerca, es muy cerca. Creo que es en esta sección. Tiene que ser esta, sí. No, no sabría. No sé. Ok, gracias. Está bien, gracias. No, no. Okay, so our new, our new friend Wolfgang has uh, attacked this problem with uh, very, very typical Austrian efficiency. He's, he is asking everybody if they know where, uh, where 
the family de Peron is. He's looking for maps. He's talking to uh, officials here at the cemetery, and he speaks much better Spanish than I do. So, is that more or less what you do already? Right down here in this section, uh, right? Here where this okay. Motorbike is still parking. Okay, I think we're getting close. Wolfgang? In this section, but she's not uh, absolutely clear. Okay, right. okay. I think we may. We may be close. <laughs> Come on. This is like Come a. Good point. This is a. This is the detective. Uh, the detective. But it's, it's fun. It's fun to, to have some some. Yeah, yeah. Uh, absolutely. <laughs> you have to have something to look for. You have to have something to investigate. That's the. I think that's the point of coming to another country. Yeah. You want to. You want to find out what it's all about. You need to really investigate it. But it looks like it's in this section somewhere. So I mean, we just head down. I think it's in this this section. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Oh, whoa. Here it is. No. Here. Ah. Tomas Peron. Whoa, well, you're great. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> I thought it would be much bigger. I know, I thought so too, but this is it. This is the picture. Yeah. And they've taken down all the, uh, all the, they put down the all nameplates. This is where they used to have. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Yeah, the window is well, broken up to there. Say, I, I would have never found that one. Well, no, you did find it. You helped me find it. Thank you very much. No. Oh, but uh, I expected something. Uh, yeah, grand uh, and wow. So this is the reason that I wanted to come out and see this was because uh, when I was researching, I found out that the back in the '80s, you know, about 10 years after Peron Juan Peron had died and was already entombed here. Um, his party was still in power, yeah. And someone broke into the grave, oh! And they stole his hands. They cut the hands off the body, and they stole them, and they ransomed them for eight million dollars to yeah. the to the party, to the, the the government, basically. Which is a crazy story to hear. Um, yeah, but, but that's uh, in Austria. We have similar crazy story that. Maybe you have heard about Haydn, the composer? Uh, no, uh, no, no, what's the story? Haydn, Haydn lived more or less the same century, the same time as mm -hmm. Mozart, yeah, and uh, Haydn <laughs> one has also st stolen his head really? because one wanted, wanted to make investigations um, and if one could recognize because of the brain uh -huh. and the head, uh -huh. his talents and his intelligence. Okay. <laughs> and That's interesting. Uh, just 50 years later, one found it again. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's no, this, uh, the the, the so story the story of Peron they have actually have never solved the crime. They don't know who who did it. There's all kinds of theories that uh, uh, it was the intellig an intelligence service that did it. They reached out and contacted the CIA. The United uh, States to see if they had any information. Ah, the Americans again. The yeah, Americans. Yeah, who knows, always right? The bad Americans. <laughs> I don't think they think that the Americans did it, but I think they reached out to see if they had any information on who did it, because they they had an idea that it may have been someone from either a foreign or an inter internal intelligence service, and that maybe the CIA had information about it, but they never solved it. They never solved it to this day. And after the. the even crazier thing is after a lot of the witnesses who were being interviewed about it and the judge who was in charge of investigating it, they all died under mysterious circumstances, heart attacks and, and uh, car accidents. And, and yeah. Ah, but you told me these are the hands of Thomas Perron. No, no, no. Of Juan, Juan, Juan Perron. Of Juan Perron, oh. yeah. So he has no hands and no more? No, they never found the hands. So when he's running around, he's running around without hands. He's well, he's buried out, you know, uh, like I said, in San Vicente, yeah. which is out in the countryside. Yeah. There is a, a summer house that he had with Eva Peron. Mm -hmm. It's the place that uh, he had said that he felt happiest. So in 2006, the government moved him from here out there, and they buried him, and they That's buried no him. It's property, or? Uh, it's it's a museum actually oh. and you can go visit it but only on the weekends and only from like two in the afternoon until five in the afternoon very short 
mm -hmm. I'm out of time. I'm trying to go there tomorrow, so we'll see. We'll see if I can find it, but... Um, but you make a good story out of, yes. out of your travel. I hope so. I hope so. Uh, all right, this, uh, the camera is about to die. We're about to lose battery. So we did it, mission accomplished. We found the grave of Thomas Perón, the former grave of Juan Domingo Perón. And we also met a new friend, Wolfgang. Nice to meet you. Say hello. <laughs> and uh, so we're gonna turn this off. And like I said, tomorrow, this is gonna be part two. We're gonna go out to San Vicente and we're gonna try and find the actual final resting place, place of Juan Domingo Perón. Goodbye. While we're here and we have a little bit of uh, battery left on the camera, a bonus. Our friend Wolfgang was looking for the uh, monument to Carlos Gardel, who was a tango composer and uh, I believe singer also. And here it is, right here behind us. All these plaques have been uh, erected along here with people sort of uh, paying homage to Carlos Gardel. And if you can see his hand, uh, he was a smoker. And uh, they made the statue such that you can climb up there and put a lit cigarette in his hand. And people do that. There's actually a cigarette butt uh, in his hand right now. Because uh, I guess he was famous for standing that way with a cigarette. But people come here to, uh, to pay homage to Carlos Gardel. All right, so we're back. We are back where we started. Plaza Constitución. And... Uh, Mission accomplished. We actually, we actually found. Uh, well, Iber Paron, that tomb was going to be easy to find no matter what. I mean, it's like it's right there, like at the cemetery. You know, you pay four thousand pesos, you get in, you check it out. Easy, easy. But the other one, the tomb of uh, Tomas Paron, former tomb of uh, Juan Domingo Paron. That one was always going to be hard to find. And I honestly, there was a time there when I thought we were absolutely not going to find it two lucky things happened one we found uh we found that map we found that map that random map on the internet that actually had the information that we needed and uh and it was it was great so when we found that that was that was major major luck and i'm going to link uh a link to that down in the description so make sure you uh, check it out if you're ever in chacarita and you need information about where stuff is in chacarita cemetery that's the spot uh, another thing, we met uh, that guy Wolfgang, uh, who was super cool, super nice guy. Um, he's from Austria, and he just came up to me. I was sitting there, like, and he asked if I knew where uh, Carlos Gardel, his grave was. And he asked the Spanish. I answered in Spanish. Eventually, we realized it was easier for us to both speak English. So uh, he decided to come along uh, with me to find uh, Tomas Baron, and then I went along with him to find uh, Carlos Gardel. And then I was telling him about the Palacio de Aguas Corrientes that we visited um, in the, you know, what, two videos ago? Or no, last video? I don't know, whatever. The, the, the poop museum that we visited. And uh, I don't know if he thought it was interesting, so we both hopped on the metro. Uh, I took him to, the, to that spot. He's uh, staying along that line, so he already kind of knew that, that metro line pretty well, that Supte line. So we took him there, I showed him where the spot was. Uh, we parted ways. He seemed like a really nice guy. I hope um, that his travels go well and that he has, uh, he has a great time here in Argentina. And uh, like my battery really is about to run out, but uh, we mission accomplished, mission accomplished for today and tomorrow. Tomorrow's going to be a big one. We're going to go and we are going to go out to San Vicente and find the actual final resting place of Juan Domingo Perón. I don't know exactly how we're going to do it. There's a train that we can take from here, Plaza Constitución, out many stops, out to a spot. But once we get off that train station, it's like nine kilometers or something, or for Americans, it's like, you know, five or six miles, basically, to get uh, from the train station actually out to the Quinta, La Quinta de, uh, de San Vicente. So that's going to be a little bit of an issue. I imagine we can just find a cab. I hope once we get off the train, and then maybe we can get that cab to come. We can get a cab to come back. I don't know. We're going to figure it out. Uh, but that's for tomorrow, and that'll probably be part two of this video. Um, we're going to do a two-parter. Uh, so so keep 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 an eye out for that. Stay tuned. Uh, but for right now, battery on the camera is about to die. So we're going to call it. Uh, we had a really good day. 
uh, fun experience, met a new friend, and uh, that's, that's what it's all about. That's what it's all about here in Argentina, just going out and finding interesting stuff and meeting new people. So, awesome. Good day.